Hello and welcome. I'm Soren Grising and you're watching Hornbill TV, Prime at 9 now. Nagaland government delegation led by Chief Minister Nipurio will be leaving for New Delhi tomorrow to meet central leaders on Eastern Nagaland People's Organization's demand on separate statehood. Sources inform Hornbill TV that Chief Minister along with some of the legislators and ENPO leaders will be meeting Union Home Minister Amit Shah on the demand for Frontier Nagaland. The ENPO is scheduled to meet Amit Shah tomorrow, December 3rd. However, meeting date is yet to be confirmed. It may be mentioned that the ENPO has been demanding separate statehood, citing discrimination on development of the eastern region. The eastern Nagas have also abstained from participating at the ongoing biggest festival of Nagaland, Hornbill Festival. ENPO has its present in six districts comprising of Kifri, Longleng, Mon, Noklak, Shamator and Tunsang and has 20 out of 60 seats in the State Assembly. The 10 day Hornbill Music Festival commenced today at the main arena amphitheater in Kisama with one of the most popular rock band from the state about us taking the main stage followed by Dosses Urge, a band from Shillong, Meghalaya, popular band from Nagaland Divine Connection. The music festival will feature artists of various genres of the state and also bands and artists from the other parts of Northeast. Seen or touched, they can only be felt from your heart. But I hope your heart will experience you just don't feel from your heart, but you also see and touch the beauty of Nagaland at this wonderful festival. I request you, my first request as Secretary of Tourism is that each and every single one of you should have a fantastic, wonderful, actual experience here at the festival, as well as the rest of the places you visit in Kohima and Nagaland. And believe me, if you leave, or if you intend to leave Nagaland without enjoying your stay here, we will catch you at the airport, we will catch you at the border, we will ensure that you are actually, or you have actually enjoyed this beautiful experience, this beautiful festival. And my most profound and ardent request to every single one of our wonderful guests here tonight is that when you leave, when you pack up your bags and you leave and you go home, I request you very sincerely, please leave behind all your bad experiences, all your bad memories within Nagaland and take along with you only the happy memories and the wonderful experience that you had during your visit to Nagaland and your Hornbill experience. Music and art can bring economic prosperity to an individual, a community, and even a state. Naga musicians have the potential and caliber to reach places and shatter ceilings. And I would like to encourage all to dream big and make it happen. Being passionate about art, music, and culture, it brings us great joy and honor to celebrate with you the ethos associated with this world-renowned festival of festivals. Through our association, Toyota Kirloska Motors, wishes to promote values of preserving and enhancing the uniqueness and richness of local culture and heritage.
Rattle and Hum Music Society of Naglin presented the handshake concert today at the Raj Bhavan in Kohima on December 2nd. Governor of Naglin, Governor Jagdish Muki, Chief Minister Nipurio and foreign dignitaries attended the event. In his speech, Abu Mehta, advisor to the Chief Minister, said that the aim of the handshake concert was to promote the talents of the young people and to give platform to the young generation in music and arts. He said that the concert is to promote culture and traditions within the country and outside the country. Lady wife, and on behalf of the Honorable Chief Minister and His Gracious Lady Wife, and the Rattle and Hum Music Society, we welcome you once again to Nagaland, the land of festivals. We welcome you to the Hornbill Festival, the festival of festivals. And we welcome you to Kohima, historic and legendary capital of Nagaland. Also, a special welcome to Raj Bhavan of Kohima and to Dr. Inkong Liba Memorial Hall, which earlier used to be called as the Darbar Hall. I must begin this evening by extending our thanks and appreciation to the Honorable Governor, who has once again opened the gates of the most important and significant address of Nagaland to the art music community. Thank you, Governor, sir. Choral performances by Babu Yetu, vocal ensemble by Voices of Hope and the dancing drummers, cultural flow, folk rhythms of Manipur, Naga cultural folk song by the Tetsu sisters, Mengu Saukri and Kenny Chali and Christmas medleys were some of the attractions of the event. Massive fire broke out at the brick kiln in Lakhipur under Katigora constituency of Kachar district in Assam today evening, killing four persons and injuring many others. The incident took place at about 4 p.m. when fire reportedly caught on the chimney of the brick kiln, which disintegrated. Sources informed that in this massive fire, one youth and a child died on the spot while 13 others were critically injured. The Kalain Fire Brigade Service sent a vehicle, but it could not dose the fire as it it, as its water ran dry. Later, one more fire brigade vehicle joined and doused the fire. The owner of the brick kiln, Altaf Hussain, and his manager reportedly fled from the spot when the fire became massive, locals informed. Even the staff members of the brick kiln reportedly fled from the spot. The deceased have been identified as one Rahat Farhana and Abu Sufyan. With over two months left for the Meghalaya Assembly polls 2023, the unbridled political defection and resignation of legislators have just begun. Three sitting MLAs, two from the ruling NPP and one from the opposition All India Trinamool Congress, who recently resigned as members of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly, will be joining BJP in the first week of December. This includes two sitting MLAs, Benedict Marak and Fairlin Sangma from NPP and Himalaya Muktan. Shangpliang from AITC. Meanwhile, in a blow to the ruling alliance UDP legislator, Samuel Sangma resigned as the associate member. Accompanied by senior BJP legislator and former cabinet minister A.L. Heck, Sangma submitted his letter of withdrawal of support to UDP chief Medbal Lindo. Meanwhile, leader of opposition Mukul Sangma has expressed confidence that the TMC will win from all the constituencies that it will be fighting in the upcoming 2023 assembly elections in the state. There are bound to be, uh, you know, this kind of element of surprises that will unfold. That's precisely what I've said, I think, months ago. Not just last month or just two, three months ago, but long, long time ago. And this is precisely what is happening, you are seeing, as an offshoot of this whole political dynamics that unfolded based on the 
prevailing situation. Now please remember that we have always maintained that not just from one political party, not just from TMC, but from many other political parties which are having presence in the state of Meghalaya will see their elected representative, you know, sifting for obvious reasons. As I said, these are something which are offshoot of the political dynamics that the state has seen after, after uh, the bold decision that we have all taken to create a new alternative. Today, for the uh, purpose of our perspective of interpretation, when we talk about the change that people aspire to achieve, in as far as installation of the government in 2023 is concerned, there is visible signs. Rather, there is a complete palpable desire of the people to find change, to effect that uh, very change through their own active participation in the whole process of democracy, in the electoral battle. And this is what exactly you see today. And given this trend, I can only assure you that we as political party in the state is the only alternative available to provide that alternative that people are seeking to achieve. The Uttarakhand government has decided to immediately close all schools that have fewer than 10 students in order to restore the standard of basic education in the state. Director General of Education Ban Siddhar Tiwari, who confirmed the decision, said the Education Department has decided to temporarily close 3,000 schools in the state with less than 10 students. Schools with five students in hilly areas and 10 or less students in plains will be closed and children from the schools will be sent to schools closest to excellence. However, he made it clear that schools are being temporarily closed until they have sufficient students. On the other hand, he said this year there have been an extra 65,000 students and several previously closed schools have also reopened. The ministry is set to improve the department's image after being at the bottom of the national level in the field of school education this year. Also, the Bojar Matas working in the schools will be accommodated in the same school where students are being sent. In a bid to strengthen state security, the Assam government on Friday has taken a key step to recruit five newly raised commando battalions. This new Assam police commandos will be trained by the Indian Army at seven different locations in the state. The inaugural ceremony of Assam police training was held at Narangi Kant in Guwahati today. Senior Army officials along with Assam Director General of Police Bhaskar Jyoti Mahanta attended the program. classical commanders urban ops and law and order but higher quality than normal police in terms of skill in terms of knowledge in terms of attitude much higher quality than normal police special arrangements accordingly. Battalion the construction of the We are into a better future for sample. Our future is to be more challenging. We have a lot of force. We have a lot of force. We have a lot of force. We force. We have a lot of 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 uh, training to Ami Indian Army for to I DISO Ami Tehel to go to Bohudin Hori Pillar uh, Liaison Korea so Chief of Army Staff uh, General Pande Aru uh, Eastern Command Commander Ama General Kalita Sab Aru Yat Four Core uh, Core Headquarters or Commander General Rana Tehel to go continuously Amaro Tasho Taki Pillar Bohudin Ami details Kini bonalo, bona ito implement arambo hoyge. Se aji formally launch korsho ami. Gori ke amar dostaman jagat ekiti training solia se. Tini khod koi odhik swali commando, bilanganar group to. Ya ha to koi toka se thakur bari. Aro best high quality ato training mall ora bolo kotha bari bola. Bas utkhahi to hoyse ta ha jo best zoos se ta ha to thoka mela lo. Kuch high quality kora hoyse. 
Approximately 3,000 personnel among the five new commando battalions will be trained during the program. Mata informed during the ceremony, while three of them will be in force for anti-terrorism operations, two will be deployed to maintain general law and order, the DGP said. Manipur is conducting a two-month language training program in seven dialects at the Manipur State Film Development Society Palace compound today. During the event, Manipur Chief Minister N. Biran Singh stated that there is no loss in learning different languages, adding that the people's identity will not be compromised in learning languages. He was addressing the gathering at the inaugural ceremony of the event. The Department of Language Planning and Implementation Manipur organized the program and Biran Singh maintained that the idea behind the local dialects training program was to maintain unity among different communities and live together as one, giving a true meaning to the state. Long time. Because I'm not going to be found there. I'm not going to know. No people are not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. Sider pelajar ni, lawan moy moy gigi, yang musuh kange, atau tu moy gigi dress, custom semua yang musuh koy kange, pergi sana mau fange, jago di sana mau fange. Siapa koy mangat rale re? Lawan kange tu, mana saya tu pakai dia yang pulak, tu 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 moy kange tu. So orang mai dia yang pulak, tu 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 kange tu. So orang tu angkul yang pulak, tu tu kange tu. Nanti nak kuih everywhere nak kuih pun mugi sana, semua kange tu. Kange tu ni yang tu. Hari kari hari ni susu kange tu. Education Minister T.H. Basanta Kumar Singh delivered a presidential speech. He appreciated the Chief Minister's far-sighted vision and for coming up with the initiative. He said that the initiative would remain a significant step in the history of Manipur and that the same would help in bringing different communities of the state closer to one another. The training program for seven local dialects, namely Maitei, Tankul, Paumai, Rongmai, Anal, Paite, and Tadao, will be held at Johnstone Higher Secondary School on pilot basis. Forty participants will be given training in each dialect. Adding festivity to the 23rd edition of Hornbill Festival of Nagaland, Hornbill Night Carnival 2022 entered its second day today in Kohima. The Kohima Carnival has been a major attraction and an integral part of the Hornbill Festival. The carnival features food stalls and all kinds of business activities. Let's have a look at the detailed report. and I'm 10 years old. Can you share us about uh, your visiting here in Night Carnival? Yes, I go to Night Carnival every year and then I've experienced a lot like there's a lot of fun and then like we get we get so many things like unexpected things that we never wanted and then it's very really fun out there with all the decorations right now as you can see. That's why I like going to Night Carnival a lot. What is the most uh, of everything you like about this night carnival? Mm, I don't have What's a favorite thing, yeah. visiting this place. You like the food? Yeah, uh, but then the best, the f my favorite is visiting here in this place. It's so beautiful with all these decorations. Okay, thank you so much.
as everyone is excited to experience the night as the festive season begins, we can see people witnessing the night carnival, which also coincides with the mega hornbill festival. The night carnival, which is also said to be an attraction for residents and tourists as well. We can see the city covered with lights, good food and music. One can see that it ignites the cheerful mood among the people. Union Defense Minister Rajnath Singh on Friday said that the defense shipyard has played a pivotal role in strengthening India's Navy force and Coast Guard and ensured not just timely delivery of platforms but also given the best quality materials. The strengthening of the Navy and Coast Guard is possibly not only when it is fully equipped with modern weapons for the security of the maritime border and the shipyard is continuously playing an important role in this direction, said Singh while chairing a meeting of the Parliamentary Consultative Committee for the Ministry of Defence in Mumbai on Friday. He said that the defence shipyard is a prime example of Prime Minister Modi's vision of Atma Nirbhar Bharat and India's defence shipyard is appreciated all over the world by foreign nations as well. He appreciates the way the defence shipyard has worked over the years and happy that the defence shipyard has not only taken care of timely delivery of orders but for also providing the quality of its products which was foremost, he said. In this direction, the defence shipyard tried its best, said Singh. In these words, you have participated in this consultative committee meeting. I give you all my thanks to all of you. And once again, I give you all of you. स्वागत करता हूं। एक कोस्टल नेशन और लार्ज इकोनॉमी होने के नाते भारत की सुरक्षा और समृद्धि समुद्र से घनिष्ठ रूप से जुड़ी हुई है मात्रा के हिसाब से देश का 95 परसेंट से अधिक व्यापार और मूल्य के हिसाब से 70 परसेंट से अधिक व्यापार इसमें एक मिनट इसके पहले मैं कुछ परिचय करा दूं क्योंकि पिछली बार हमारे कुछ सीनियर ऑफिसर्स उस समय नहीं थे एक परिचय में कराता हूं चीफ ऑफ डिफेंस स्टाफ जनरल अनिल चौहान दैट्स ऑल फॉर नाउ स्टेट यून टू हॉर्नबिल टीवी फॉर मोर